Now at this point, when we select the input field and we type some data, we see that the data is displayed, but there is nothing that shows that this is the current input field which is accepting data. So the next thing we want to do is that we want to implement some form of highlighting for the input field. So back in the style text input file, we'll be able to do this by making use of a state variable. This will be used to toggle the value of our background color for highlighting purposes. Now just at the start of the component, we will create a state. For this state, we will call it input background color. And for the initial value of the state, we will set it to our primary color. And now to start using it, we want to set the background color of our input field to this input background color. Now to be able to toggle the value of this background color, we need to make use of the onBlair property of the function and also the onFocus property. The onFocus property will let us know that the current input field has been selected and the onBlair property will let us know that it is no longer in focus or has not been selected. So let's create two simple functions for these properties. So first, we create one for onFocus. Now in this function, should we receive another onFocus function from outside the component, we want to call that first. For example, if you use a package like Formic, you receive a handle on blur function and the handle on focus function to be passed to the input field. Now right after that, when our input is in focus, we want to set the background color to our secondary color. This will ensure that our background will be highlighted. Now we copy and paste this and then we change the name of the function to custom on blur. Now over here we'll call the on blur function instead and then we set the background color back to the primary color. The primary color being the default color that we started with. Now we pass these two functions to the input field. Now when we tap on the input field the background should change and it shows that the current input field has been highlighted. Let's go to the app file and duplicate the input field so that we can tell the difference clearly. Now let's say we use this input field for full name. So so let's copy and paste the state here then we can change the second one to full name and also for the second input we can change the label to full name for the icon we will change this to account this will give us the human looking icon and then for the value we will change this to full name and the unchanged text that will be set full name for the placeholder we can just put a name there and then for the keyboard type we will not need it since this is not email and now we have another complete text input for a different purpose so now when we select the top input field we see that it's highlighted but the second one remains the same and when we select the second input field it is highlighted but the first one changes back to the default settings so we can type whatever we want here and when we submit it it will come back to the default now a very common situation is to have an input field specifically for passwords 